Welcome back. For anyone who is new here, I'm Gemma and this is Simon. Yep. And we are restored in a huge boat. Which is Surinda. Yes. <laughs> or introducing names. Yes. The boat is called Surinda, uh, also known as ML1392 in a World War II days. Yeah. So today we're going to try and get as much wood work done as we possibly can. We've also got Robbo. Yeah, helping out today. He's going to continue with painting the ceiling before the insulation goes in. Yeah, and he's going to have a sleepover, aren't you? Sleepover. It's boys' boat night tonight. I've got to go and look after the kids, but the boys yeah. are going to stay and get as much done Who's as they can. going to make the tea? Your tea or my tea? <laughs> my tea. <I> <laughs> right, let's get to it. So, a couple of episodes ago, when we were cutting threaded bar and I showed you how tidy the ends up to get the nuts and bolts on and a lot of people said why don't you just put all the nuts on before you cut them um, and the answer to that is because we cut quite a lot at one go there's like a meters worth of, of bar there so we use nylocks and it'd take me forever to try and twist nylocks on when we're cutting it down into about 10 pieces so it's just as quick and easy to cut it Get me little grinds and stone on it and then... And as well, you still need to get the nut on the other end. So if you put two nuts on, you know to get your piece in, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we don't put the nuts on first and we just cut them, tidy the edges up and then fit them. So, yeah. Clarification there. Clarification. I know you're all just trying to help and trying to help it speed it along, but there's always a reason why we do something. Well, so sometimes you guys have really good ideas and I go, I'm going to make it up my own. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna look dead smart next time when I use that. Yeah. yeah. But then sometimes some of the things that a lot of people say are, are very useful. But we do take everything on board, and I also like to let you know why I haven't took your advice into consideration. Yeah. So cutting some threads well, of bar. Something I learned when I was very young in the early days of work was like, think, don't just accept. <laughs> so, so if someone says to you, oh, go and jump off there. You think about it. You don't just go, oh, I'm going to do what they say. Yeah. Do like, it's always that sort of thing before you accept. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to use your own judgment and your own common sense. So we are now cutting some thread of bar to make up some more bolts and we're going to fit three more sisters. Dun, dun, dun. Boring. We should, we should actually buy the right size bolts from... <laughs> Well, no, because then you buy a size bolt and then you go, I need one a bit bigger, or... So it's quite it handy. It it's quite handy we can make our own. Need a bigger bench, then. Or oh. oh, maybe we should, like, use the band so it work. I'm just going to cut the load up, because, um... quite a few things arrive in the post from Amazon what have been sent by you lovely people um, we open all of them on our Facebook page uh, like live so you can see our reactions and stuff so if you're not on our Facebook page pop over and have a look um, this week we received some stainless steel washers which I'm using now and um, jigsaw blades and uh, not jigsaw blades multi-tool blades uh, and loads of other things. Someone even sent me a box of quavers um, for Wonky, so thank you so much. <laughs> Right, okay, so to get these in, obviously we've we've not put the web frames in yet because we want to get these in and then slip them into position. I say you put these in as long as you possibly can, which structurally makes sense, doesn't it? Well, longer is always better. Longer is better, apparently. So 
Um, we can't actually get these in that far because of this here. But we know the, the gun support is coming out. Well, it's been replaced anyway, minimum up to here. So we may as well chop it off now because it's actually, it's doing bugger all, isn't it? Do, and then the web through has been replaced, so we may as well cut that. Don't really like taking out too many things at once, but that's what we've got to do. Yeah, but that web frame's not doing anything anyway. Because it's not even there. No, but it's linked from there to there and Yeah, but we're not putting more strength in. Like. <laughs> so this one's going on top here, so we need to pull it off on the wide bit, what do you reckon? Yeah. Let's cut the bird up while you follow. Bilge dirty. What was going through my head when I was doing that? How can I stop making mess because my jumper's got a show? Oh my <laughs> god. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long and on these old questions holds you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on sisters in so they don't look that pretty because there's their glueage everywhere but once I've sanded it back and it's dry and painted it they look amazing so now on to a frame on and on I feel unrest whatever happened to me happened for my highest good I read that in so many books now it's almost understood I'm moving on Again, 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 one more, that should do you in a thing. Okay, so we've got the frame in now, I've drilled and I've put all the nails through. So now I've got Robbo's outside, now he's going to hold the dolly and I'm going to do, the, do Gemma's bit inside, so should be interesting, shouldn't it? You sure you know what to do? Oh, I think we'll, I've, here, watched, I've watched the videos. <laughs> Robbo said, are you, are you sure you know what to do? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I've watched it happen. <laughs> Can't be that hard, can it, if they could do it. Right, so we're going to start, we'll start with number one. Right, so I'm ready, you tell me when you're ready. Ready. Cool. So I'm ready on three. Ready. All right, so where do you want to start? Should we, Should we start on the easy one, number one? Should we start the worst one first? 
and work well, on it. Well, I don't know, because we might need to perfect our technique. All right. So okay. do, so, so, so you're gonna you're just gonna use the hammer against it. Will Do that be? Will. Yeah, because so you don't slip off. Yeah. So we yeah, start on one, then then we'll jump we'll jump straight on to the worst one if you want. Okay. So when you're ready. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That. Yeah, we'll call that. Well, um, number nine is fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's good. It? Yeah, it's good. So I think Robbo's stuck in the mud at the moment, but I didn't put a camera out there, because it's just me and him, and we struggle with cameras. But, it's sort of good to know, you know, that's a true friend, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He's outside, up to his buddy while he's in mud, to help us do this, do you know what I mean? Thanks, Robert. So Robert did a really good job then in the mud. Um, cool. Well, it's now time we, we need to move on to the web frame. Uh, Robert is outside at the moment, cleaning up the knee. So he's like hammering all the scale off, and he gets the floppy wheel on it. Gets all back to bare metal, zinc spray, and then once that's gone off, then the black spray. So hopefully, by the time I get this ready, the knee will be ready, and then boom. So the web frame's in now, thanks to Robbo helping me. Uh, that was a bit of a nightmare that one because of the, the curve. It's quite hard because it's got a scarf on it and then you try to pull it in and then it wants to slip all the time. But we managed to hold it back and do it. So as you saw from the time lapse, uh, that took a very, very, very long time. But she's in now. Um, Jim will be really impressed with the, the amount of ooze we've got, I think. All the way up. Uh, freshly painted knee from Robbo again. He's doing well on Robbo, isn't he? Hi. Good, <laughs> what are you doing? I remember about six months ago when we took all the inside of this off, Jack. And it was like, you can say goodbye to all that for a while. Yeah. You can say goodbye to the wood bit now, lost bit of painting up here. So, just covering up, bit of sanding, bit of painting, and uh, paint your boat. Okay, I'm going to leave you to it, and I'm going to leave Robbo with his own camera today, so we'll see what footage he gets for us. Nothing. <laughs> more frames we've decided to go out for a little trip because the weather's perfect so it's some nice high water so we thought all right we'll bring battleship down and then we'll go for a little trip so we're now testing our rain marine equipment so we'll try to learn it anyway so Yours, Mercury. Doesn't make much power, but. Gemma's doing some last minute navigation. Two, 2.6 meters of water at the moment, all good. Good. Hello. 
actually got a life jacket on today. Too dark. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. <laughs> it's not very stable. Let's see this little bit. It's all right, it's all right, you know. Probably he's got the stabilisation on the camera, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 